Hello everyone. In this session, I will be discussing a very important topic that is diabetic nephropathy. It's a very important topic from MCQ point of view. So let's start. Diabetic nephropathy. We know there are two types of diabetes, type 1 and type 2. Diabetic nephropathy is more common in type 1 diabetes because here the diabetes occurs from the childhood, right? Type 2 diabetes occurs in maturity, right? So that's why it presents late. So there are less chances here the patient presents with diabetic nephropathy. In diabetes, there is hyperglycemia that is increased glucose level in the blood. The increased glucose level in the blood can target three organs. One is kidney that results in diabetic nephropathy. That is our topic right now. It can result in the affect the retina of the eye resulting in diabetic retinopathy and it can affect the nerves also. So resulting in diabetic uh, neuropathy. So these are the three uh, long term complications of the diabetes you must uh, diabetes you must say. So coming on diabetic nephropathy currently our topic is that. In diabetic nephropathy the glomerulus is involved. So basically there are three type of renal lesions occurs in diabetes. So number one affecting the glomerulus that is known as glomerulosclerosis. Number two the blood vessels are also affected known as vascular lesions and number two number three the tubules are also affected PCT, DCT, loop of Hanley, collecting tubules that is known as tubular lesions. We will be discussing all of them. Let's start with glomerulus. In glomerulus there is two type of glomerulosclerosis the diffuse and the nodular. I will be discussing the both type of glomerulosclerosis. So as I have told you in the diabetes the two type of glomerulosclerosis are there diffuse and nodular. As the name indicate what is the difference between them? Let's start with the first one. Diffuse glomerulosclerosis. Now diffuse is more common as compared to nodular. Among the two diffuse is more common but the nodular is more specific or pathognomatic. Right. So these are the two type of glomerulosclerosis. One is more common, one is more specific or pathognomatic. So let's start with the first one diffuse. It is more common. Now here it is known as diffuse because here all parts of the glomeruli are involved. That's why as the name indicates it's diffuse. So basically the hyaline is deposited at four, four locations. Can you see in this diagram a beautiful glomerulus is shown to you. This one is the diagram of the diffuse. Can you see I'm marking the boundary of the glomerulus. So here the high line is deposited at, deposited at four location. Let me mark the high line. High line. High line deposition is there. The high line is pink color acellular material is there. Extracellular. So can you see here pink color acellular material here? Can you see? Say yes. So it is in the matrix. So number one, the deposition of high line in the matrix. Number one. Number two, it is present in the basement membrane of the capillaries. Can you see the dark pink lining? of the basement membrane of the capillaries yes so it is present in the basement membrane of the capillaries causing thickening of the basement membrane number two number three it is present over the capillaries in the form of a cap cap means topi you know in the form of a cap so they are present over the capillaries in the form of a cap also can you see few caps here these are known as fibrin cap number three in the form of the fibrin cap and number four these are present in the bowman's capsule also can you see the pink color deposits in the bowman's capsule these are known as capsular drop so at four places they are present the high line deposition that's why this one is known as diffuse diffuse can you can you see the four location number one is mesangium number two is basement membrane basement membrane of the capillaries number three the capillary cap and number four, the capsular drops in the Bowman's capsule. So that's why the disease is known as diffuse. Now, can you highlight the four things? Number one, thickening of the basement membrane, which is the earliest. It is the earliest which is getting deposited in the basement membrane. Number two, in the mesangial matrix. Number three, in the Bowman's capsule, known as capsular drop. And number four, fibrin cap in the form of the periphery of the cap forming a lobule. So that is about the diffuse. Coming on the nodular. As the name indicate here, it will not be diffused. It will be in the form of the nodules. Again, hyaline will be deposited. The nodular is also known as KW kidney. What is KW kidney? It is Kimmelston Wilson. KW. Kimmelston Wilson kidney. So the other name given to the nodular kidney is KW kidney. Right. And it is more specific. The, the, the diffuse was more common. This one is more specific. This one is pathognomatic. Right. It is more common in type 1 diabetes. Here nodules are formed. Multiple nodules, ovoid spherical nodules are formed of the hyaline material. Can you see here this diagram? Please see. In this diagram, can you see where is the hyaline? Here the pink color, acellular material. You can see extracellular. This one is hyaline. So it is present in the form of the nodules. 
the nodules are oval spherical you know it is not diffuse everywhere like like the diffuse one it is in the form of the nodule so this one is nodular so we got the two type of the glomerulo sclerosis one is diffuse where hyaline is deposited at four places diffusely and the second one is the nodular where hyaline is deposited but in the form of the nodules the diffuse one is more common the nodular one is more specific and pathognomatic there is other name given to the nodular one known as kw kidney kimmelstein wilson kidney right so we are done with the diabetic glomerulosclerosis coming on the vascular lesion vascular lesion is same in both of them so in the arteries in the arteries hyaline is deposited in both of them that is known as hyaline arteriosclerosis so can you see both diagrams together so see the both diagrams together this one is a diagram of diffuse this one is a diagram of nodular right you can make it out so where is the artery i can see a artery here i can see a artery here in both the arteries i can see the pink color material deposited in the media of the artery here also here also that pink color material is hyaline actually so here also we are having hyaline thickening of the artery here also we are having hyaline thickening of the artery there is no change in the blood vessel in the two right the glomerular glomerulus is different see the glomerulus here see the glomerulus here so deposition of hyaline in the glomerulus is different you can see the hyaline deposited here is at four places number 1 mesangium number 2 basement membrane number 3 the cap and number 4 the bowman's capsule right but here the hyaline is deposited in the form of the nodules in the glomerulus so that is different but in the blood vessel it is same here also here also so that is the vascular lesion so basically vascular lesion in both of them is hyaline arteriosclerosis which is common here also here also coming on tubular lesions right tubular lesions so in pct the pct glycogen is deposited which is which is seen in the form of the vacuoles it is common in both these are known as armani ibston lesion let me show you can you see the uh, tubules in the two diagrams let me show you the tubules so you can see the two diagrams here this one is diffuse this one is nodular you can see the two diagrams let me mark the tubules so i can see a tubule here in these diagram these are pct dct loop of anle here also i can find some tubules right in the cells of all these tubules i can see the vacuoles of the glycogen can i see so these are the cells can you see the cells inside the cells i can appreciate the vacuoles of the glycogen it is common here also here also so the vacuoles of the glycogen in the tubules is known as armani ibston lesion which is common in both of them so we are done with diabetes glomerulosclerosis the two type of diabetes glomerulosclerosis so this is the summary you can see the glomerulus in both of them which is different so in both of them hyaline is deposited but the location is different this one is diffuse which is more common this one is nodular which is more specific pathognomatic and this one is known as kw kidney so that's all about diabetic glomerulosclerosis thank you